In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I believe to be one of the most slept on tips for defending compression corner routes. That's corner routes from Gun Bunch or Gun Tight uh, within the coverage space of Madden 23. And uh, we're gonna teach you a really effective concept. Now you can cross apply this concept to pretty much any formation that you're running on the defensive side of the ball. We're gonna be showcasing this out of the big nickel over G, but you can cross apply this to dollar, three, three, cub, three, three, doesn't matter what the formation is. And if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I do want to let you know about my Patreon. We've been dropping a ton of updates into our Patreon lately over the last couple of weeks uh, with you guys just kind of breaking down not only different blitz concepts post-patch, but also ways that you can start to cover um, a lot of the po most popular formations, including tight, tight offset, tight end, bunch, U-trips, all that stuff. We have everything for you. You get access to all of those eBooks and updates uh, for just $10. $10 gets you access to everything. The link's in the description if you want to check that out but let's talk about this today so again coverage concept and i want to talk today like i said about the most what i see is just the most slept on coverage adjustment uh, or coverage uh, concept and uh, i want to teach this more conceptual so we're going to come out in the big nickel over g cover two uh real quick from a coaching adjustment perspective uh, you can do a couple different things here. Uh, kind of depends on what you want to do. We're just gonna the main thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our zone coverage on match, um, and then and then we're gonna run the the, the defense. So cover two, and uh, like I said, we're just gonna be going over just kind of basic like stopping corner routes from 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 the formation that you're trying to defend. And really, the question that is most important to ask is what hash mark are they on? Uh, that is a super super important question. So. For example, if you look at this, uh, if you look at this play here, uh, the bunch is on the short side of the field. So, for example, if I was to go in audible just to a basic cover three here, you're going to notice that if I put a streak on this right side, it is going to clear out this outside third 100 out of 100 times, and they can throw that just like that right there. Now, let's say, for example, uh, just for fun, that you are playing, it's a little bit of a, a nuanced coverage, but basically, let's say, for example, that I take this defender and I put him in outside quarter, okay? So let's just say I put this guy in outside quarter and I have this guy in a um, on a streak, and then let's just say, for sake of fun, we do a coverage that looks kind of like this, if you will. Uh, what you'll see here is this quarter does play the corner quasi okay now not all quarter zones are created equal for example the cover four quarters or cover four palms those quarters that are found within those formations are specific to match principles which we teach you uh, in our match coverage defensive ebook but that being said now let's say for example that i was to flip my gun bunch so my bunch is now technically to the wide side of the field and we go back into that cover three or cover um, three scenario. What you'll notice is this guy will not clear out that outside third, and rather uh, the corner route will be played over here by the matching outside third on the wide side. So this kind of proves a very important point to us. In that point, is that hash marks significantly uh, significantly affect how zones work specifically in a compression uh, type of setting, in a compression type of setting. Now, there's one key little piece to this and I'll show it real quick. So let's say for example, that we were to play that same cover three, but instead of the outside receiver running the clear out route, we're gonna run our tight end on the clear out route. So you'll see it look like this. What you'll see in this scenario is now that outside third will play this perfectly. And so this teaches us that Madden zones are based off of a uh, a specific grid system. And so essentially, um, I could kind of oversimplify and over summarize this with this statement that if I was to run the streak, if, as, if the clear out route gets outside of the numbers, so from the 30 yard line to the sideline, if that's where the clear out route is at, then it is going to clear the third. If it's inside of the numbers, anywhere from the 30 yard line uh, the little 30 number in the hash mark on the right side, that is that is going to be a middle third grid, okay? And then even more importantly, let's say for example that we were to uh, press this, baseline press this. Now these quarter zone adjustments are a little bit interesting because what's gonna happen is this quarter is now baseline press, which is gonna make sure that it's gonna get a little bit more underneath. And then we could do things such as rolling maybe our coverage like this. So we still have that middle third defender, 
coming from the bunch side, but now you know we have an outside quarter as opposed to an outside third. So now if I run this concept, what you're gonna see is this quarter zone is the most outside um, type of grid that you can get. And so typically what will happen is this will give you a shot, you'll see here, but still not really that great at stopping it. However, this is where cloud coverage becomes super, super important. So I know that on the left side here, there's really not a whole lot they could do to clear out zones. And let me give you an example. So if I were to run this coverage uh, right here, let's say that I was trying to run a corner route over here to the right or uh, to the left side. So let's say I was trying to run this C route and I put a motion over streak. What you'll oftentimes notice is that the middle, it's not, it's not at the grid, right? It's not in the proper grid. Uh, and so now I'm able to basically bag the C route. He still caught it because it's Madden 23, but I, I'm able to have a guy in that area. Why? Because of the hash mark that they're on. So again, if they flip their bunch, let's say they flip their bunch and they run the C route here to the right side. Now, when I motion over anybody from the bunch side to make a clear out type of uh, situation, you're going to see where's that player at? Well, he's outside of the numbers and he's in that same spot. And so now what you'll see is that's going to clear out that third. Now, sometimes you have a chance to play this. Now, the point, the reason this is important is because it also applies to cloud flats. Um, and so what you'll see here is now let's say that I did a defense that looks like this. OK, this cloud flat on the right hand side has a specific depth at which he can actually drop back and play corner routes and flow to the ball. And what you'll see is the corner out on the short side of the field is only going to get so far downfield. And so that cloud flat is going to create kind of an underneath bracket to that concept. And so rolling your coverage to the trips side of a formation or to the hash mark, I find is actually a really, really key concept. So again, outside third, the left side, middle third, that safety, and then and then you can uh, roll over this outside third on this side. So now what this is gonna do is this guy's gonna take any kind of vertical, this guy's gonna take any kind of corner, and then really what that leaves you with is whatever you wanna do underneath this. So for example, you can have a hard flat and a vert hook, and then over here on the backside, you can kind of play the flat yourself if you wanted to. If you don't, you know, another little kind of cool defense would maybe be to do something like uh, like this on the left side here. Not a bad coverage shell at all here. Uh, but what you'll see with this is, again, if they try to flood you to the right side, they're going to be forced to check it down to their tight end flat route. This corner route typically is not going to be able to get, like it got over there, but it's real tight window and it's just not super, super good. So short side cloud flats to me are one of the best zones uh, to take away any kind of corner route. Um, not all corner routes are created equal. There are short corners and deep corners and all that fun stuff, but this by and large will defend a lot um, that you're going to come across. And you have that outside third that's flowing to the outside and he's coming over the top to top the route. Again, that's the beauty of bracketing uh, the, the coverage with the zone. So just a little tip here about how to stop short side corner routes. If they're wide side, um, so for example, let's say if the bunch or the tight set is something like this right here, now the danger in this is we have to kind of concern ourselves really with any kind of like slot apprentice post or, or C route to the right side. So the defense changes. So now instead of running the cloud to the, the left, right, we want to have a third on that side because that third is going to play the corner route every single time. So now we may want a hard flat to take away any kind of short, quick flat. And then we're able to do something, uh, you know, something like this over here on the right side that's able to, you know, kind of take away a lot of what they're able to do here. So, you know, this is one of my favorite uh, coverage defenses for bunch is something like this. And then now if they try to run that corner out, that outside third will always be able to play that. You just need to get somebody over the top of the streak. Uh, and you can do that in a variety of different ways. So anyways, this is one of my favorite ways to defend corner routes. And the idea is essentially put a short side cloud flat or put a cloud flat on the short side and roll your coverage to the short side from the wide side. So the outside third can defend all of the sideline on the wide side. And then you're rolling the coverage into uh, the problem area, which in this year's game is typically the short side of the field. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful and you want to take your Madden game to the next level, 
Be sure to check out the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates. We've dropped, I think, four or five different updates uh, this week alone, and we're dropping a ton of updates right now, uh, both defensively and offensively. So make sure you get in the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description.